everybody, it's your girl Tara, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. It is wonderful to have you sticking around for these series. We are back at it again with some 5M roleplay and New Day with my girl Alexandra. So today is going to be super fun. She is going to get a glimpse of her past, present, and future with some Terra card readings. How exciting. So let's go ahead and get to the video. If you haven't hit the like button already, please do so. Subscribe if you want to, but let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the show. Merry Christmas. But it's not it's not even Halloween yet. Happy New Year. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> I'm all Valentine's Day. Ooh, Valentine's Day. That's not that far. Oops. <laughs> like you guys are having fun. Yes, I can tell. You Much more fun nice than me. <laughs> I unfucked my desk. Oh, a little bit. yes, I noticed. A little bit. I closed like three things. I noticed. I can't close. And then I added two things. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It. She's delegating a little. <laughs> the, the Did you just give she... me? You know what? Fuck it. That's exactly what I was about to say. She she's like, you want a burger, and then hands me ten. No, that's not what she gave me. Oh, probably alcohol. Nope. You ever done one of those? Yes, I have actually. Oh, okay. I oh that. Yep. 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 That was one of the first things she took me doing in the city. Yeah, I looked at it, I'm like, that's not you know what, never mind. Who cares? Fuck it. I did not offer that to you. It just fell out of my pocket. Offered what to me? Exactly. Uh reminds me of the old days. Hmm. Good times. <laughs> Good times. Putting in the <laughs> rain. Is he actually calling ahead to make sure that they're gonna be there when we get there now? Not sure, maybe. Sometimes I miss ketamine. Hell yeah. Like, I don't. <laughs> oh! Oh! Screw you, Alex and Perry! Ow! Okay. Let's, let's, we gotta get in the helicopter. We gotta fix it. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know what happened, but I lost my foot in. I don't know. Okay. Falcon one taking off the ground. Yes, I got to my seat belt on. Human centipede. I love how Alex doesn't even comment about the fact that that's what we're singing. She's just like, yeah. This is I fine. I fully watched that movie. I just like it. Really? <laughs> I, I've seen the whole thing. I've seen the whole thing too. Miss mm -hmm. Parts, I, I wish I could unsee. Yep. Insane. Yep. But at the same time, also, you have to admire it for the quality animation. Yep. <laughs> oh, when you should send her that picture I uh, I did of the tree. A tree? Oh, yeah, yeah I, I've been doing a bunch of photography shit. And I took a picture of a tree Fun while time. we were inner tubing. <laughs> oh. Is that flat? It's so hard to tell. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Land on the road. Oh, watch out for the deer. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, right, oh. damn it. Two of them. And a rabbit. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good picture. I love it. All right. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I love it. Howdy. <laughs> Hi! Hello! How's it going, y'all? Uh... How's Ethan? Doing great. <laughs> Hell uh, I'm Ethan Lawrence. This is Hubert. This is Eddie B. And this is Asto. Ayo! My name's Alex. Hello. God damn it, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Winnie. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Howdy, y'all. Y'all caught me on my, uh, my usual, uh, hiking time when I come back and stop being the ghost for a hot second. So, oh, well, this is a nice help? place though. Yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, honestly, the covered bridge is one of those sort of spots of power I was talking about. More because, uh, a good friend of mine died in it. Uh, but, uh, oh. you know, oh. I mean, it's not really a sad place. It wasn't exactly a sad dev. Honestly, they kind of needed it, but, uh, oh. you know, is how it is. <laughs> uh, but I feel like it's so, a place a headless horseman would be. You know, horseless headman. Horseless headman? You know, I actually, I heard, you know, 
the spooky ghost time. Uh, I heard there was a moment of someone like, you know, you know, one of them like tall ass trucks where they kind of reach up real high to the ceiling and shit. Uh, mm -hmm. I heard there's a story of someone riding off road around here and then, you know, going off on this dirt road here and driving, whacking into that uh, covered bridge. One of their buddies was standing up in the bed of the truck and it <gasps> snapped off their fucking head. <gasps> so there is a headless uh, truckman. Headless truckman. Yeah. The headless truck. Ooh. Spooky. I'm promised to be a medium, take everything I say with a lick of salt, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, do it more for the introspection rather than, like, the spooky archaic stuff. Like, I'm not gonna tell you you're gonna die. I might tell you, like, a potential future or something like that, but there ain't no promises, nothing, you know? Okay. Alright. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, we kind of got all sorts of different spreads, you know, if you, you know, if you're interested in the love, is like a seven-card spread, which is like a, you know, each more card in a spread means more details, but also means more time per spread, which I'm good mm -hmm. with, but that sometimes kind of messes with people's timelines. Oh! <laughs> He's very curious. <laughs> There's a helicopter and five people around it! <laughs> it's alright, listen, we're just doing a cult sacrifice. It's all good. Uh, Hail Satan. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! All the good one, good for the community. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, love life, past, present, future, three cards, you know, general spread can be, uh, you know, stuff about forward momentum can be around six, seven, depending on whatever, you know, uh, whatever y'all got the time for and interest. I want to hear about the love life one, for no reason in particular. <laughs> all right, all right, seven cards, you good with that? I actually might have a, yes. a shorter one if I search around a bit more, but I'm sorry. Hey, you're right. While you're looking, I have a question. Hey. What's that? If you were, for instance, having a conversation with someone and you needed to say the sentence like, turn left gotcha. at the next road. <laughs> yeah. And you forgot the, what the word road was and you had to come up with a descriptor. In or like that street moment, or highway, those two. Exit. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. Exit might be. I'm just saying, how do you hmm. feel about um, car hallway? Car hallway! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So the real question to that one is, how fast is this exit coming up on you? Like, is it like a second away and you have to say something quick, or is it like you got maybe ten, like a good uh, like mile or so? I, I will say you have a, uh, exactly enough time to think of and say car hallway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fair. And yeah, I guess that would probably be the next best if uh, I was making a call, you know? Car hallway. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, she, she, she did that, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was her. Mm -hmm. Yep, she did that. Car hallway, I love that, honestly. But I mean, it, it, yeah. in context, it makes perfect sense. I mean, you're not wrong. That's true. It's a hallway for cars. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea. I like the idea behind it. All right. <clears throat> So this one I actually found is a uh, bit shorter, five cards. It's that sound. Cool. All right, fantastic. So uh, 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 I'm gonna do a bit of a fun process here. Just need, just uh, I'll tell you every step. Just feel free to walk through. It, okay. Okay. All right. Here I'm gonna set this deck of cards in front of you. Do me a favor and cut this deck of cards into uh, three different piles. So cut it twice. Mm, there. Alrighty, alright, so, that done, those three, uh, those three piles, considered let them left to right, numbered one, two, and three, repeat those three numbers back in any order you like. Three, two, one. Alright, three, two, one, alright, enjoy, enjoy, perfect, perfect. So, that done, gonna hand you the deck, you know how to shuffle? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Well, uh, be pretty. Uh, honestly, even make it messy, I can put it back in order for you. Uh, just shuffle the for me however you like once. You can bend the cards, they're old pieces of shit, they're stained, they're all ruined in a couple of places. You know, feel free to, you know, get a good bend that, it's all good. They're all in here. They're all in the same place, exactly, that's the point, it's all good. They're, they're, yep, mm-hmm. She's perfect. It, it, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. Uh, but now I'm going to take these from you real quick. I'm going to do my 
I own Shuffle once. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, it wasn't. It literally came with like decades of fucking practice at this point. Trust me. At first, I was throwing decades. cards all over the fucking place. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, she can find a pun in anything. <laughs> well, listen, we all got our talents. I'm very happy that's her because I suck at making puns sometimes. She's also the best lawyer in the city. Hell <laughs> yeah. Also true. And uh, one last thing I'm going to do here I'm going to press both my palms together with the deck in the middle. I'm going to give it a twist, sort of give it a weird sort of sideways shuffle. Because what I'm going to incorporate here, what I usually do with my spreads, I incorporate what we call reverses. You know, it's uh, it's the card you get, but it's upside down, which means it's the opposite of meaning. You know? Okay. Also, sorry, I'm doing this real manual, so sometimes it's a bit funky. There we go. All right. Uh, so, <clears throat> so this all deck thrown back together, straightened up. I'm going to press it into a fine line here. You can see every the back of every single card. Just do me a favor from these 78 cards, numbers 1 through 78, grab me five numbers. Tell me five numbers out 1 through 78. 1, 15, 72, 4, 29. All right, perfect. I'm going to grab the rest of them, throw them to the side, make a little deck, and those five I'm going to arrange like so in such a way, such as a, uh, like a little, like on the, on the, um, when you actually look at like a, a, a regular deck of cards and you see the card five and it has like the little symbols put into a five mark kind of thing, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Four corners in the center. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I, for some reason, had a really hard time remembering how to describe that. So for okay. Our hallway. Our hallway. Our hallway, exactly. So, uh, that said, starting with that, we're going to begin with the bottom right card. First card we got here, representing yourself at the moment, of, uh, at this current moment. And of course, this relationship really could be, you know, for romantic love, it could be for physical love, it could be for platonic, for, you know, non-physical, whatever, you know, re recognition of a relationship you might have, and of a partner or partners, plural or whatever you want to say. Point being, mm -hmm. starting with the first one, giving it a flip, taking a look, you see the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I like books. Oh, uh, like, well, you know, like, Paige, like, um, sort of like, you know, that, oh, like that little fucker that followed around the knights and shit, uh, sort of uh, like squires, but not really, you know? Wanna I call those squires. paralegals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, they, I think they actually have them nowadays, now that I'm thinking about it, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, Paige <laughs> Pentacles, uh, in its upright form, <laughs> as such, uh, we, uh, in general terms, these are just, you know, terms given over the many years I've done this, uh, Ambitious, diligent, goal-oriented, planner, consistent, star student, studious, grounded, loyal, faithful, and dependent. Bit of an out of <laughs> So, I mean, yeah. I mean, so, listen, and sometimes it's not exactly you're perfect all the fucking time. This is like, it's more within the fact that you drive yourself to try and be for a purpose or for another purpose, that stable entity in someone's life they can depend on. Uh, it could be, you know, in someone's education. It could be that literally, like, a student who, like, works really hard to, like, get the best grades they can kind of thing. Or if it's, like, a worker, like, a retail worker, like, they try to show up on time or take people's shifts and, you know, be there for other people and be dependable for them. For yourself, like a lawyer, you're someone who tries to work as hard as you can to, you know, be presentable, or at least be to a point of, you know, you can trust me as your lawyer, I'm not gonna fuck you over, kind of thing. And you're, or as a person, as yourself, you just try to do that in your regular life. Uh, but, as we move on to the next card, representing the partner and or partners in this situation or relationship, we see the Ten of Chalices in reverse. So, okay, which, what does this card in particular represent? Uh, so the Ten of Chalices, specifically when in reverse, uh, or Ten of Cups, I should say, is a better term than most people recognize, uh, tends to stand in general terms for the unhappy home, separation, domestic conflict, disharmony, and isolation. 
maybe so much in specifically this case. It's not like everything's horrible, everything's a burning fucking mess right now, everything's shitty and terrible, but there are sort of cracks that are appearing more so on the surface that that than were before subdermal, you know? Before, you could have noticed them if you looked hard enough or if you, like, talked enough, but if you started talking, then maybe this problem wouldn't have actually been an issue. But with this person in this specific relationship or these people, this these cracks have been kind of evident for a while. I'm uh, starting to think this is about the office instead of my home. <laughs> uh -huh. Anything is potential, sister. Especially in this world we live in today. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's more a spot that can still be patched up, but it's just harder than it was if you had worked in the uh, But with that said, uh, let's go to the next card. Uh, the next is going to be the Tower while in Reverse. <clears throat> the Tower in Reverse, in general concepts, is averting disaster, delaying the inevitable, and resisting change. We find this in the spot representing relationships at the relationship, as in the connection, at the current. Which, again, kind of still sits with the current you know, point of the reading, which is people, persons, cracks now appearing on the surface could have been handled before, uh, for one reason or another was not. Uh, it's not, again, it's not collapsing, like if it was just the tower straight up, but I think that everyone in this relationship, or at least key members of the people in this relationship, are maybe avoiding having those tough conversations, those really harsh conversations that will potentially break things up, will make things worse, but they also have the best chance of making things better. And you can't really know which one it's going to be until you actually have that conversation, you know? We'll mm -hmm. turn next to the next card, which is the Fool in Reverse. We're going to see this in the spot of the past of, uh, past of relationships. And this, of course, would be past of relationships, plural, as in the ones that you've had before, or the ones the other person's had before, or the other people, yada yada. Or it could be this specific relationship experience. What has been, has been going on? And the fool in reverse tends to stand for the reckless, uh, or the reckless, the pet, the pet, fuck. Reckless, careless, distracted, naive, foolish, gullib or gullible, stale, stale, and dull. As far as the connections between and these cracks now appearing, maybe the sort of things that you're trying to avoid isn't exactly avoiding. It's sort of like, um, you know, okay, do you know what the, when I say intrusive thoughts, when I say that? <laughs> oh, Ethan. Hey, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, yeah. so the concept I'm thinking here for this one is it's sort of like when you have intrusive thoughts about, like, your friends. Like, sometimes for certain people, you might have intrusive thoughts saying, oh, I, my friends hate me because I did this one annoying thing and now they're pissed at me all the time kind of thing. And in reality, they didn't even notice you doing anything at all and they have no issue with you. They're just doing their own thing kind of deal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of like both of you, or all of you in this relationship, have had these past sort of experiences with other relationships ending in such ways, in such common sort of ways, that you're trying to not let the, or quote unquote, let those thoughts win, you know? If you're trying to, you're trying to have a positive mindset, and so you don't, you purposely don't see the cracks, because you're just trying to tell yourself that's just shit that you're seeing. And, you know, that's sometimes just how it is. Sometimes it's the truth, sometimes it isn't. It really is kind of 50-50, and all that can really cut through the fucking mist in that one is just talking about shit. We'll move on to the last one we got here. Given to us, it will be the Knight of Swords in Reverse. My god, you have a lot of reverse card system. Which doesn't really mean mm. anything, it's just like a, it's more like an interesting thing to see. You know? Yeah, I'm kind of a weird, backwards person. Kind of, I'm kind of a quirky lady. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the way to describe it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's very accurate. Uh, but, point being, 
Knight of Swords in reverse in this spot, representing the future of relationships. Again, same thing as the past. Maybe it's yours, maybe it's theirs, maybe it's the future of this relationship specifically. Mm -hmm. Root, tactless, forceful, bull, uh, bully, aggressive, vicious, ruthless, arrogant. Oh, okay. I think we definitely got John in here on accident. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so maybe, okay, if we're thinking about this from the different viewpoints, if it, you're specifically other relationships of other kinds in the future, maybe this is describing your other partners in the future, maybe it's describing yourself, yada yada, same for the other person. If we're talking about this relationship specifically, the one you're dealing with now, maybe it continuing on to exist in the future is it being... Forcing, you're forcing it, or you and the others are forcing it to continue on, for maybe a good reason, maybe for a reason that's profitable, maybe forcing the relationship for something that isn't <clears throat> healthy, you know, and sometimes that needs to be brought into question too. Again, all of this is fantastic to figure out through a conversation, preferably, for, or for, or for that. Possibly with a professional, depending on the context you have the shit. So, but. Oh, good. My friend just got sworn in as a therapist. Hey! Gotta love that timing, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, sworn in for therapist, right? It's not just a judge. <laughs> I don't think they swear in therapists. I think they do, they, they do the opium. They do the hypocrite for mm -hmm. The what? The hypocrite? The hypocrite. <laughs> that's exactly what that's called. Yep. Yep, yep, right from the book. Uh, but, lovely shit put aside, uh, that is your five card spread. How you feeling? Honestly? That's, that's, that's definitely, we did, we did an oopsie office, uh, relationship instead of, instead of that one. That one's a peach. Ah. Uh, writing him. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> so gonna set the deck right there in front of you on the cardboard do mm -hmm. me a favor and cut that baby twice get me three piles if you one three piles there you go fantastic thank you so those three piles left to right numbers <coughs> one two and three repeat those three numbers back in any order you like to restack the deck two one three two one three all right very good very good putting the rest of that and then we'll that i'm gonna send you that deck Right there, right on the uh, shuffle the deck for me, please. Mm -hmm. Right, and there you go. Fantastic. Now we'll take it back and shuffle it one more time as such. Perfect. And then I'm going to give it the old twist just to make sure <coughs> things are all flipped over and such as they will. Alright, and I'm going to smooth them out into a nice little line of 78 cards, each card shown from the back. If you want to do me a favor and grab three cards, three numbers, between 1 and 78. Alright, uh, 52, 36, 10. Alright, very good, very good. Let's move the rest back into the deck. <coughs> Gonna put those three in a nice straight old line right there. And after such, gonna give the first one starting with the past. Right. First one. Can you give them to us in the moon? Mm. Moon, a lot about a lot of stuff about uh, self-reflection kind of stuff, you know, stuff about a uh, hidden sort of meaning. In this case, though, uh, the moon's general sort of concepts represent to us be uh, uh, the unconscious, the uncertainty, uh, the intuition, confusion, complexity, secrets, and the unconscious. So this card in the past. And, okay, so sometimes when people get this card, 
especially in the past, this sort of spot like this. Potentially, at some point in your past, there was a spot that you don't want to remember. Or that you don't like to remember. Something you bury. Something, or potentially something that is buried on its own. Via means that you wish you could dig up. Things that you wish you could understand, but it's foggy, it's clouded, it's muggy. It's, it's like, um... It's like that one time that you did an embarrassing thing and it doesn't come up at all during your, like, time in your life until, like, some random time you're laying in your bed and suddenly you remember that time oh. that you kissed that person in the middle of the party and it turned out to be, like, that person that you fucking hate. And, like, not <laughs> in, like, a hot way, but you just hate them. Like, you actually legitimately hate them. And, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's not exactly that sort of situation specifically, but, you know, it's something that has... A heavenier past, but does not want to be brought up for whatever reason. That said, moving to the next, we see the Knight of Chalices in Reverse. The Knight of Chalices in Reverse. Da, 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 da. Ah. Knight of Chalices in Reverse is tending to stand for concepts of disappointment, tantrums, moodiness, turmoil, avoiding conflict and vanity. This point in time is the potential point in the present. And present is always, you know, a concept that can either mean literally right today, right this moment kind of thing, or within the last, people might consider the present like the last couple of days to like last week or so, maybe even the last month depending, or into the future by this sort of time. And I don't, again, I don't think this is as so much super blunt as it is kind of more presently with this point in your present. It, oh, it's uh, something that shares similarity to that point in your past where shit had sort of gone down that you recognize or that you don't recognize. Something is very eerily similar about what is going on now in the fact that it just doesn't seem like shit's working out one way or the other. To you, to others, to, you know, the world around you, whatever have you. Similarly to that point in your past, for whatever reason, it's kind of just a mess. It, it, nothing's working out, nothing is getting organized, everything's just a fucked mess for some fucking reason. It's not in a recordably fucked mess, you can still fix it up, there's still potential for it to get better, but it's hard to start out on those steps to make it better because it's kind of the context of that mess is what makes it so fucking messy. And it's happened before, which is kind of what makes it eerie to you. But we move lastly to our point in the future, given to us by the two of swords. Uh, the Two of Swords having to do with concepts such as uh, unity, partnership, uh, attraction, connection, close bonds, joining forces, and mutual respect. Partnership, you say? Yes. <laughs> A <lot of> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Potentially. Maybe. And it's and maybe having, if we're going to, you know, continue this whole, like, potential connotation to the other two cards, maybe this sort of thing that has been sort of hanging on you, something that has continued to hang on you into this present point, is something that can be solved through the collaboration with another. In a number of ways, you know, could be a relationship could, of any sort, could be seeking out help could be, you know, uh, working with another in the way of a <clears throat> mutual sort of business transaction kind of deal. It, it's really any sort of way that goes in the way of involving another to improve the way of life that you've been living through. But, that said, that is your three-card spread. Interesting. Hmm. Look forward to when you partner. <laughs> partner when? No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake news. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll
Come on, we show up.